they've uh, well which side so are you on you've said in the past that there should be uh, a quick period where people can figure out whether or not they need a gun I think you commented uh, 72 hours we should be able to tell so well, you're for, have, you're right for now, background checks right on the book you know right now there's been tremendous laws put on the book or books already and you know nobody ever talks about the mental health aspect the people that actually pull the trigger of the guns they don't talk about that Chris you know all over the country they're closing up mental health hospitals for budget reasons and people don't talk about that they talk about the guns if people in Paris had guns you know what you wouldn't have had 130 people and many more to follow get killed and if people in California had a couple of guns in that room you wouldn't have had 16 people killed people well, laying in the hospital we don't know that wounded. We, we don't know that you would like to believe that if people have guns they'd be able to defend themselves and that there'd oh, be I, less I think so, less Chris, bloodshed I mean, I really do. Um, at least would but, have a shot you but, know no look, they had look no shot look we the understand people in Paris and the people in California had zero shot we understand five soldiers that were killed in a gun-free zone who were outstanding soldiers one of them was one of the most highly decorated soldiers and they had no. They, they were in a gun-free zone on a military base, and this wacko came in. Right. And he had a gun, so he no, was, I was a big there. man because he I had was a gun at Fort and he Hood. killed them all. I was at Fort Hood 